Lucid stock price has fallen from a high of 55 US dollars to $2.50. That tells you everything you need to know about the content of this video. Guys, this is such a fascinating story because Lucid's CEO, Peter Rawlinson, obviously he and Elon Musk have had this um, fight that's been going on for many years. Rawlinson obviously used to work at Tesla. Now, interestingly, he said that Tesla's EV technology is five years ahead of Chinese companies, other Chinese companies all across China. I don't think the guy's been to China. I don't think that's true. But he says that Lucid's EV tech is 10 years ahead of Tesla's. In other words, he's saying, <laughs> he's literally, objectively speaking, saying that Lucid's EV technology is 15 years ahead of China. Uh, no. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I mean, I mean, here's the thing, guys. Even if this were true, the problem is price. I mean, no one wants to pay 80,000 or 100,000 US dollars for an EV. And even when people are willing to pay that much for an EV from Lucid, Lucid loses, what, hundreds of thousands of dollars on every EV it sells. So this technology, it certainly hasn't helped Lucid bring down the cost of manufacturing. Will it ever? Honestly, who knows? I don't think it's likely. I think Lucid would be already bankrupt if it wasn't for the Saudis who obviously own more than half the company now. But anyhow, Lucid CEO Peter Rawlinson said that Lucid has surpassed Tesla in every way when it comes to electric vehicle technology, stating that Lucid is the tech leader in the industry worldwide. If we look back in time 10 or 15 years ago, Tesla was the tech leader. I think there's a degree of distraction now. And I think that Lucid has taken that mantle, said Rawlinson. Now, Interestingly, guys, I should point out the CEO of Xiaomi, the CEO of Xpeng, and the CEO of Ford, Jim Farley, all three of those CEOs are not out testing Lucid's autonomous driving technology. They're out testing, they have done so this year, in fact. All three of those massive company CEOs have all tested Tesla's autonomous driving technology and have all said it's pretty damn impressive. In fact, Xpeng CEO actually flew to America just to test it, apparently. That's what everyone's saying. Anyhow, that would kind of maybe rule out Lucid as being this technological leader, because if it were perceived to be the case, maybe those CEOs would be testing out Lucid's cars instead. But here's another example, guys. BMW bought, and so did Porsche, a Tesla Cybertruck. BMW, in fact, had it secretly shipped to Germany so they could tear it apart. Anyway, Rawlinson said that um, apparently Lucid has hit a new milestone. I announced earlier this week that we've hit a landmark level of capability that we're hitting the magic five miles per kilowatt hour. No one else is even close. Now, I don't know if that's true, guys. Some of the efficiency of some of these new Chinese EVs is probably very, very close. Peter probably hasn't been to China recently, so maybe he's just talking about America. I don't know. Rawlinson described the competition as a tech race that is far from over, asserting we have taken the mantle of leadership, make no mistake. Uh, yeah, like I said though, Lucid has not worked out how to manufacture its cars at mass scale or at mass scale and at a profit. Those things probably matter more than Lucid's pretty outlandish claims. Now, when it comes to charging speed, Lucid is nowhere near an industry leader. It's not even remotely close. There's probably about 15 different models of car in China that all have the capability of charging in the real world today, right now, on charges that already exist at 550 kilowatt. That's significantly more advanced than anything Lucid's doing. However, the crazy thing is, now those batteries, I mean, Cato's Shenzhen battery, um, Geely's Golden battery, they're lithium ion phosphate. So they're affordable batteries to produce that are charging at those speeds. Now. That's a kind of technology, if Lucid had that, we would all know about it. I mean, all of North America would know about this, but they don't. Anyhow, Rawlinson described the competition as a tech race, saying that, you know, basically you should invest in Lucid, you should buy their EVs because they're amazing. Now, the new Gravity SUV could be a, a popular car. Production will start late in 2024. 
but it will of course still be expensive. Lucid will continue to lose a lot of money. How much money is Lucid actually losing? Well, Lucid's last earnings report for Q1 saw revenue of 173 million, but a net loss of $685 million. Now guys, if you think, oh, they're just a startup, so that's okay. Well, put it this way, guys, Zika, they just had an IPO in America, right? Zika have been around as an EV company for less time than Lucid, less. Zika lost about 90% less than that in the first quarter. And they sold a lot more cars, a lot more EVs. Uh, and they have their own battery technology, which is far superior to any battery that Lucid is using. Maybe Lucid isn't all that advanced after all. Yeah. Thanks for watching.